Thanks, thanks, Jen. Great to see everybody here, and uh, a spread from uh, across our three partners. Um, in just about 80 days, we're not going to be saying, I'm from DIT, or I'm from IT Tala, or I'm from IT Blanchardstown, because they won't exist anymore. Um, we will be TU Dublin, and we need to start thinking as TU for Dublin, I think, immediately. Um, and this program is one initiative that helps us to start thinking about TU Dublin. Now, I'm a graduate from College of Technology, Kevin Street. Um, and what I thought was interesting, because I always kept them, was my final year exams from electrical engineering. And the exam paper, and we all know what the exam papers look like, it had College of, you know, apart from the, the examiners and the external examiners, College of Technology, Kevin Street, it had the program, you know, electrical engineering, final year four, but above it all was Dublin Institute of Technology. And this was back in 1980. Um, Dublin Institute of Technology was not established legally until 1990. But what was occurring at the time was the coordination through an academic council structure of the academic outputs of the, the colleges that became Dublin Institute of Technology. So early academic collaboration. So that was, that was positive on the one hand. Um, but if I also look at what we managed to achieve, um, and at this stage I was long gone, I was in the United States, but in the period from the establishment of DIT legally in 1990, up for the next decade, up until the year 2000, we had six colleges that to a large extent continued to operate the way they'd always operated. They still had exams offices and registrations offices, they still ran programs, even though in another college some of the same programs ran. Um, and it took about a decade before there was a restructuring which was called the Faculty Structures uh, Agreement, which was really a mechanism to try and say, well hold on a minute, what we need is a school of mechanical engineering and we need a school of physics and a school of chemistry and we should bring the people together who are teaching in there. And that took a while then for that to get implemented. And when I came into DIT as the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, we had a number of people in Bolton Street who had different disciplines, but they weren't engineering lecturers. And one of the issues was, well, how do we handle that? Um, and over the course of a number of years, we decided that one of the things that we needed in engineering was a multidisciplinary approach to how we actually deliver engineering. And it took a long time for us to figure out how to get there, but eventually when we restructured the Faculty of Engineering combined with the Faculty of Built Environment, we formed this new school called the School of Multidisciplinary Technologies. Um, and it has actually grown from strength to strength because it enables a discussion associated with the modern way we need to teach engineering. So I speak from an engineering perspective. And the fact that engineering students are better if they have exposure to a wider range of skills. We've also been successful with respect to research projects and funding in terms of the preparedness of graduates from engineering schools for uh, careers in industry. So it has worked out really well. But it took a long time for us to do that if you think about it from the perspective of the establishment of DIT. So now fast forward to today, and we're talking about team teaching awards and fellowships. This is an attempt to try and learn from what we, the, the path we've walked previously, and to say, well, let's start to try and do this in a multidisciplinary way, one of the criteria, and in a multi-campus way, one of the criteria associated with these awards. So these, while they may appear to be small enough in the overall scheme of things, they can be quite important from the perspective of what we're trying to achieve, and they can be very important from the perspective of the teams that are actually going to win these awards. So I think this is fundamentally important. Uh, I'd like to, uh, to thank the LTTC, the Learning, Teaching and Technology Centre, which is at the moment the DIT Learning, Teaching and Technology Centre, but will soon enough represent uh, the, our Learning, Teaching and Technology expertise for TU Dublin, which again is an important step. And again, from one of my external roles, I happen to be president of the European Society for Engineering Education. So as part of that, I visit and talk with many engineering universities across Europe with respect to how they do it. And what is clear is that 
from the most research intensive universities such as TU Delft, uh, KU Leuven, etc. They have centers for, for teaching and learning. We have a center for teaching and learning. We need to try and ensure that we nurture, develop, support, and that that particular center, our LTTC, reaches out across the campuses that TU Dublin has to ensure that we bring all of our strengths to bear to help our teachers be better teachers, to help our academics be better academics. And we've got national award winners in the room today in terms of their teaching excellence that we can hopefully leverage as well as we look at going forward. So I fully support and applaud this initiative and I hope the workshop goes really well in terms of sharing the types of information that's needed. Jen? That's right.